All right, here's another one. Um, so if we were to expand this one, right, would have uh, AB times AB times AB. We're going to do this five times. There's four and five. If we rearrange these, then we'd have A times A times, well, five of these. And then we'd have five of these Bs as well, which would give us A to the power of five times B to the power of five. So the rule on this one is just you'd have a to the power of five. That's our exponent. Well, let me let me show this differently because that's a to the power of one and b to the power of one. So it'd be one times five times b to the power of one times five, which is a to the power of five times b to the power of five. The reason I show that one there is because it won't always be one. And if it's a different number, we need to express it so that we know what, what to multiply by. But notice the answer came out the same anyways.